hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation to solve for him here solution let's recall that when we have root a the same thing as a raised to power half then what we have here we can rewrite it and this becomes 8 raised to power half then also raised to power root m here also m raised to power half then minus equally here yeah, this is 5 raised to power half then raised to power root m as well as m raised to power half and equals to 39 on this side then also from the law of indices a raised to power m raised to power n this same thing as a raised to power m n that is here yeah, this power multiplies and when this multiplies here, this becomes 8 raised to power m raised to power half, then over 2 from here. Then minus also, here we have 5 raised to power m raised to power half over 2, which is equal to 39 on this side. Then since we have m raised to power half over 2 comma, we can use a letter so let p here be equals to m raised to power half over 2 then this equation now becomes 8 raised to power p minus 5 raised to power p equals to 39 then also we can write this as 8 raised to power p then raised to power 2 over 2. Here 2 over 2 is still 1, so it's still the same thing as 8 raised to power p, then minus. Also here 5 raised to power p, then raised to power 2 over 2, which is equal to 39 from here. Then since this power multiply as well, let's separate these two inside here. And leave this outside and we write 8 raised to power p over 2 then square minus here as well we have 5 raised to power p over 2 square as well which is equal to 39 from here then this follows this pattern a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b that is here a is standing as 8 raised to power p over 2 and b is standing as 5 raised to power p over 2 so here this becomes 8 raised to power p over 2 plus 5 raised to power p over 2 then into bracket also open bracket 8 raised to power p over 2 minus 5 raised to power p over 2 close bracket equals to 39 and here we can separate 39 as 13 times 3 as 13 times 3 and here since these two brackets we multiply yet it implies that one of the brackets has to be 13 and one has to be 3. And obviously, this bracket is greater than this other bracket. Which implies that the first one here is 13. So we have 8 raised to power p over 2 plus 5 raised to power p over 2 is equal to 13. And the second bracket, which is 8 raised to power p over 2 minus 5 raised to power p over 2 is equals to 3 now we can solve this by eliminating the second variable here let's add now from here when we had this we have 2 times 8 raised to power p over 2 from here equals to 13 plus 3 that's 16 and here now when we divide both sides by 2 here this cancel out which we are left with 8 raised to power p over 2 
now equals to 16 over 2 here, that's 8. And that's equally 8 raised to power 1. And here we compare the base are equal. So we can equate this power. And we have P over 2 here equals to 1. And here equally this is 1 over 1. When we cross multiply now. That's P times 1. That's P equals to 1 times 2. That's 2. So we have P equals to 2. From here. Then since we let P. To be equals to m to power half over 2 so here yeah, it implies that what we have now will be m raised to power half over 2 equals to which is equals to 2 from here then also this is 2 over 1 then here yeah, when we cross multiply m raised to power half times 1, that's t m raised to power half, which is equals to 2 times 2, that's 4. Then to get m now, we can raise both sides to power 2. So here, we have m raised to power half square, then equals to 4 square. And since this power multiply, this cancel out, so we are left with m, which is equals to 4 square here, that's 16. So here we have the solution here to be m equals to 16. Now let's check to verify from what we have if this will satisfy the given problem. We have m equals to 16. Then when we substitute here, this becomes square root of 8 raised to power square root of 16, then minus square root of 5 raised to power square root of 16 is equals to 39 from here then here we can write root 8 as 8 to power half then raised to power root 16 that's 4 then minus here root 5 that's 5 raised to power half then raised to power root 16 that's also 4 is equals to 39 from here that is here this power multiplies 2 here 1 2 here 2 then we are left with 8 square here minus also 2 here 1 2 here 2 5 square here is this equals to 39 and here simply put we can put this as 8 plus 5 times 8 minus 5 is it equals to 39 and 8 plus 5 yeah that's 13 then times yeah 8 minus 5 that's 3 is it equals to 39 and 13 times 3 yeah that's 39 which is equals to 39 now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here we conclude that F m equals to 16 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. And also put your comment in the comment section. Thank you. See you next class and bye for now.